Good morning, gang. Um, well, hello, Facebook friends. If you're not new who I am, I'm Jed, and I regularly do these Facebook Live videos, so thank you for tuning in. Um, you might guess from last from the text that I'm talking, going to talk about the Body Coaches program last night. Um, sat down, watched that, and I try not to bash on other people and what they do because really I try to concentrate on what I do well rather than what other people do badly. But last night, sat down. Body coach comes on some I can't remember what the program was called. I think it's on the BBC. And the guy is just mental. He's perpetuating stupid myths that anybody, any fitness professional, anybody that knows anything about fitness, well, you know, I'm not talking about laymen here, I'm talking about people that are in the industry, know that what this guy was saying was it was a bit of rubbish, really. And these myths really shouldn't keep being perpetuated. So there's only one thing I'm going to talk about. There was a few things that I didn't like, but I'm going to talk about HIIT training. And Joe Wicks was saying he did ask the, that HIIT training burns more fat than any other modality. HIIT training is the number one way to burn fat. Well, I'm going to tell you now that that is total bull. Because if you are HIIT training and you are operating at your anaerobic capacity, not aerobic, then you are not burning any fat as fuel because anaerobic, without oxygen, you cannot oxidise fat without oxygen. So when you're training HIIT and you're in these very high heart rate zones, there's no way that you're burning fat as your primary fuel source because it's impossible now. I know this all sounds like a bit of mumbo jumbo, and you do continue to burn energy after the fact of doing HIIT training. That was one of the things, but fundamentally, the biggest problem I had was him saying, you must be doing HIIT training to burn fat. Now, you can't go from having a sedentary lifestyle, I've never exercised before, or I am returning to exercise, somebody who's carrying a bit too much weight to go right that's it i'm doing i'm doing 20 minute hit sessions now four times a week because you're physically not in that place you're just physically not fit enough now there's a there's a new a, he's a political commentator called andrew marr heard there's exactly the same thing hit training is the number one way to get fit and lose fat so going for an untrained individual he jumps on a rowing machine Started doing HIIT training and gave himself a stroke, which it took him two years to recover from. Now, that's because the guy isn't, he's a detrained individual. You can't go from, you can't go from couch to running a marathon straight away. There's got to be steps along the way. And the other thing is that maybe HIIT training just doesn't fit into your life. Maybe it's not that you just don't want to do HIIT training. Maybe walking is the thing for you. Maybe doing a Davina McCall DVD is the way that you're going to get activity into your life. So what I'm trying to say is, try not to get sucked into these fitness people on the telly that are just perpetuating rubbish, trying to sell his system, his idea, when the right idea is the idea that fits for you. All you need to work out or get somebody to help you work out is how can I have a way of eating healthy and moving enough to keep me physically well. Now that could be walking, it could be running, it could be going to the gym, it could be biking. Whatever these things are is what you choose because if you don't choose the right thing, you're just not going to like it. If you're getting told that you've got to do burpees, for 20 minutes, three times a week. And that was the other thing he was saying, oh, one of the, the best exercises is a burpee. To go from sedentary to doing burpees straight away, if you're, if you're a big person, you're just not gonna have the mobility for that. So just bear a couple of things in mind when you're 
watching the telly and getting told from the BBC that this is the best thing that you should be doing because half the time it's rubbish and the other half of the time he's just trying to sell you what his book is, system is and there's quite a lot of people in the industry have dispelled the shit that he talks. Okay guys, thank you for taking the time out of your day and I hope you have the rest of your day's fantastic. See ya! Now, before I get into this, this is not a personal attack on Joe Wicks. I don't know the guy, but I do know about his method, and I've seen the many people it hasn't served.